I went to school in New York in the 80s, and it was an interesting time. It was changing, and I think that was part of the excitement. For me personally, I think I might have woken up on some level when I was writing a, a piece for the Columbia University paper. I kind of saw the city for the first time. I saw people who might be homeless, people who were having challenges, and that was important to me, to be able to see that and then to think about how I might be able to make a contribution. Rich is the man. He really is. From being on the Municipal Rulemaking Securities Board, his work with the ABA, the fact that he's an adjunct professor at Columbia University, and all the work that he does here at HDC, it amazes me how much he does with so little time in the day. Rich is incredibly creative. Whatever the problem, Rich can see a way to solve that problem that none of the rest of us had ever thought of. He's just really good at spinning straw into gold. Rich's creativity is legendary. In our 2010 tax credit uh, preservation program of more than 21,000 units of public housing, Rich played an important and integral role in making that happen, the largest tax credit deal in the country. One example of Rich's creative ability is the work that he's done on helping us get recycled bonds. We needed to be able to come up with more resources for affordable housing in New York. So being able to recycle them became a, a real opportunity for us. We can do more. And that's always been our mantra, do more. We use it a fair amount in New York, but it can be done nationally. It was something that was put into legislation and can be used. And many people don't know this, but Rich was the driving force behind getting that done. Ocean Village, which is now known as Arvern View, is a project that sat for about four years when they were trying to refinance it. And no one really knew what to do with it. There were 350 vacancies. There